So part two of the expander survey uh, kit is just to have a look at how we do one actually. So um, so we've got our expander survey kit. It's always useful to have a set of ladders around. Um, I've got a step ladder at home so uh, that's quite handy. So to try and get this in the position where you're likely to fit it. So uh, it might be obviously a bit higher up. I've got a bit of a problem here because uh, I'm a little bit limited by what I can do. But if this was near the wall, I might stick it on a very high ladder, perhaps a bit higher up on the wall. Um, try and do the survey at the busiest time when everyone's in the building, when all the computers are on and all the lighting, um, everything else that might be electrically noisy is, uh, is happening. Not always possible, I know, but uh, it's uh, if you can do it, it's uh, worth doing. Um, okay, so we've got our interface on. We've got our uh, survey tool. So we switch that on, get that ready. So okay, it's ready to go. And then we would just place our survey tool up on the ceiling. Lights have come on. And obviously here we're going to get a, uh, a perfect reading because we're just near the uh, survey tool. Um, if we then moved into other rooms uh, to take a reading, we could do the same thing. Try and shut the doors in between the two areas. Shut any windows um, that might be around. Uh, look out for metal. So metal is always a problem, especially in places like industrial kitchens. Um, Elevators, lifts, they're always going to be a bit of a problem. So uh, those sort of areas you try and either avoid um, putting a the device there if you can. But if you've got no choice, um, it might be that you've got to uh, use another survey um, interface or another interface closer to that area, maybe. But um, always survey everywhere. Go to the furthest point of the building that you can and try and get a, a, a good pass reading from there and then move towards your um, interface box. It's always um, a good way to go. Okay, so that's basically your survey. Fill in your survey sheet. Um, don't forget that, that's always very important. And, um, and then hopefully the second stage of doing the survey will be putting your kit in and testing the signals and the signals for that are always going to be slightly better than what you get on a survey. So the survey is to say the site is um, okay for radio equipment. Obviously once you put the kit in then you can take further um, survey signal readings to, um, to ensure that your building is going to work correctly with the expander kit. Okay, so um, that's the end of the uh, expander videos for now, unless I think of anything else and then we'll have some further ones um, another time. But uh, thanks for watching.